took your hair looks really well. Oh, God, thanks, Mel. It's, um, well, Una did it for me. Una, you did a great job in her hair. Ah, oh, she's very good hair. Let's get you to do mine sometime. Yeah, no problem. I thought you would have ordered by now. Hey, Niamh. Oh, hiya. Um, listen, we'll probably head out of this, you know. Into town? Yeah. Pierce, will you serve Keith there? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, give us a large bottle of cider and uh, same again. Do I get a table? I oh, know, I'm grand here at the bar. Guess what I came across today? The photos from our holiday. It was a great time, wasn't it? Yeah, we enjoyed ourselves. It's one of the best holidays I've ever had. I wouldn't rate it that highly. I got some coffee for you. Wait. You know, we were good together, Keith. Look, this is supposed to be a friendly drink, so let's not go over all this stuff again. What stuff? You know what I mean. I'm just talking about the good times we had together. They're over. You've made that perfectly clear. So what are we talking about it for, then? I'm just saying we could get it all back. I don't want it all back. Any chance of that drink, is there? Sorry? Large bottle of cider. It's simple. You just take the top off, put a few ice cubes in the glass, and put it on the counter. You can get your girlfriend's drink. She's not my girlfriend. Is everything OK here? I can't seem to get a drink, Jean. I told you, I'm getting your girlfriend's drink. And I told you she's not my girlfriend. Thanks a lot, Keith. As if I haven't been humiliated enough. Coming up, Keith. So, Sybil, what exactly does that mean? Well, Ray said it, so... Like, I mean... Oh, so this was Ray's idea? Yeah, well, he said that scene is how him and your man are, you know, going out. God, yeah. Hang on a second, Ray is all right. No, it's, it's not that. It's just, you know, the thoughts of your ma, you know, with anyone. Yeah, yeah OK, I get your point. Anyway, he said that seeing as how him and your ma are together, he suggested that I come over here and we, you know, see if we could be civil. Which means, according to Ray, that we don't shout at each other every time we meet. We weren't shouting. What is it with the shouting? This is how rumours start. Before you know, we'd be strangling each other. You said I was shouting. But, but that was... But that was just because my mum said the same thing. Yeah, well, you know, maybe it's because your man, Ray, they want to keep it low-key. I mean... Actually, do you know what? That's quite interesting. Yeah, well, I mean, we were a bit loud. Yeah, well, we were arguing, you know, so... Yeah. Well, you were arguing. Excuse me? Well, I was just sitting talking and, I mean, suddenly you went a bit over the top, you know? Yeah, because that's... Because what you were saying was really stupid, Keith. You see, there you go again. What are you just saying, that I just go over the top? Well, I'm just sitting here talking and you're calling me stupid. I didn't call you stupid. I was saying what you were saying was, you didn't even listen. Why should I listen to you when you're insulting me? Oh, suddenly this is all about you now, is it? Well, there's only the two of us in the room and I'm not the one calling somebody stupid. Yeah, but I wasn't the one saying stupid things. Right, that's it. I'm out of here. You know, I just came over here to... To see if we could behave like civilised human beings. Well, it's a pity you didn't act like one. Yeah. Pity you didn't either. Oh, quick comeback, Keith. Well done there. Ah. Oh, what are you going to do? You're just going to walk away now, is that it? No, I'm going to run away. Why should I stay here listening to you yap all the well, time? Well, because you might learn something. Oh, yeah? What? Well, just shut up every now and then. Are you joking me? I never met a woman who talks as much as you. That's probably because I couldn't get another word in. Talk. You're the one who talks, Keith. In fact, I think all you ever do is talk. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, look, Keith, if you're gonna go, just go. Oh, I'm sorry. Have you forgotten where the door is? It's that big gap thing in the wall look, there. Look, just you have to do? shut up. I'm paying you for this now, and I won't hear no. You will, because I'm not taking a penny. And no arguments, or you and I is going to have a falling out. Right? I'll have you there in no time.
Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, Ray. You all right? What's wrong? <laughs> I don't want to dump things on you. Let me guess. Keith, huh? Well, I'm not only saying this to you, but I said it to him. You know, we think he's mad splitting up with you. And he'll realise that eventually. And he'll come running back. Yeah, well, you know, these things have a way of walking themselves out where they're supposed to. I'm pregnant, Ray. Does Keith know? No. Next time you give me 20 minutes notice, don't expect me to be here, Keith. I'm uh, not some resource. Leave, please. No, seriously, Keith, listen to me for a minute. I, I don't know what you think is going on here. I didn't even know myself, but you can't expect me to drop everything the next Maybe, time. Maybe, will you shut up just for one minute? Is there something wrong? Illness pregnant. No. Well, are you sure? No, I, I mean, people can make mistakes, you know? Especially around breakups, it could be, you know, the upset or, or, or wishful thinking or... It's not wishful thinking. Well, how do you know? Like, I mean, I don't mean to be cynical here, Keith. But things get funny around breakups. Particularly crappy breakups, like the ones you seem to specialise in. Look, she's not making it up if that's what you're implying. Well, how do you know? Because she hasn't even told me. So what are you doing? Are you guessing here? It's a long story. Look, Keith. If this involves you working out ovulation charts, I'd really like to hear it. She told Ray and Ray told me. Now, do you want to get a joke out of that one as well? No, no, I don't. I'm sorry, Keith. Well, how did it happen? I mean, I mean, weren't you using anything? She was. Well, she said she was. I suppose it's... I suppose it's easy to forget the pill if things get rocky, you know? Do you think? No. Are you, uh, you okay? No. Have you thought about what you're going to do? Well, what can I do? I don't even know officially. It's not the kind of secret that you can keep for long. Will you say to her? I don't know. Why won't she tell you? I don't know. I could, um, have a think of a reason. What? Maybe she's planning on not keeping it. No, it's not that. The owner's pretty Catholic. Well, if she was that Catholic, she shouldn't be pregnant, Keith. Listen, do you want to go for a drink? I don't really feel like celebrating. No, we can talk about what you're going to do. Well, what can I do? This is unbelievable. Every time things start to go well, something always happens, doesn't it? Something always has to come along and give you a kick in the teeth. What are you going to do? What's that supposed to mean? You know, I had to hear this second hand from Ray, so no more mind games. I'm not playing mind games. Yeah, well, stop answering every one of my questions with a question. Are you saying do I want to have an abortion? Is that it? No. All I'm asking you is what you intend to do. Who's playing mind games now, then? I don't believe in abortion. OK, right. Are you sure that? Am I sure what? Well, you know that. Like a, uh... No, I don't know. What are you saying? Well, are you sure that? I mean, is there a chance that it might be someone else? Are you asking me if you're the father? Is that it? Yeah. Or might it be one of the other half a dozen fellas I was slutting around with while I was seeing you? Is that what you're suggesting? Would you keep your voice down? No. Why should I? Just stay quiet while you insult me and tell me you think I'm a tramp and I'm supposed to just sit here and take it? Look, it was a question I had to ask you. You did not have to ask it. And how dare you ask it? Of course it's yours. Of course you're the father. <laughs> 